need two. Oh my god, you really is. All right. Like more than five. <laughs> so here you go. Whoa. Uh, this is segment A and B, and I tell you that they are congruent to each other. You guys don't have to copy this down. I just wanted to give you guys a visual before I ask you a question. And then I have C and D, and they are also congruent. Give me a correct combination you want to subtract. That'll be equal. So what I want is two pairs to subtract so the results are, the new segments are equal. And you know what I got to do a better job of than I'm doing an awful job of? And that is calling on everybody. Even though there's five of you. I just don't want people just dominating the class here. All right, so give me a give me a combination that you could subtract that will be equal to the same thing when you subtract those other two segments. Let's start it up here now. Where are we going? Jude, you're up. Um A and D and C. Okay, hold on, just show me. So I could do A segment A minus D, and that'd be the same as subtracting. Should we break it down? See, uh, now you can, yeah, in the in the notes. I just, you didn't need a diagram for this. Or, I'm going to keep challenging you guys because you guys want it. Give me another pair, there's two other pairs I could subtract and they would still be equal, they're new segments. So I got A minus D equals C minus B. And you can look at my segments up here. Jude, how about another one? Oh, Double. C That's going to happen a lot. A minus C equals, what was the other one? B minus B. Yep. And this is now called subtraction property. Now I will warn you, it happens every year. So if you do it, it's fine. If it happens every year, watch out. This kind of sounds like, uh, yeah, so be careful. Make sure you write down the one you want. I don't know what, I, I can't spell anyway. That's why I'm in the math department. Wait, it sounds like what? Substitution. Uh, right. Like it doesn't the, sound the, like the, it, but the brain like just the brain just starts uh, going to substitution sometimes when you meant what subtraction. What you said was so funny. Okay. Yes. I, I can't spell it, so I'm not the part. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's facts too. That's. Not. I um. So I know you said that you won't take on many points for like not writing postulate or property, but will they do it on the midterm? No. Or no. If we don't put postulate. No. Probably? No. Just write subtraction. That's all we care about. Do we have allegiance this year? Uh, you do, but you don't have to take it. Oh, nice. So that's why we can go at our own speed here. So. <coughs> all right, ready. Here is the issue we are going to run into. I showed you addition on Friday. Drink the refreshment. You okay? Yeah. I showed you subtraction today. Here's the problem. How do I know... How do I know when to use which? Right? All right, let me, yes, Colin. So do you normally <coughs> use like substitution and then subtraction? Like no, 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 hold on. Let me, my first predicament I'm gonna put you in is, how do I know it's a subtraction proof versus addition from Friday? Okay, and here, let me give you a great example. Ready for number two? I'm giving you DAC, everyone look on your diagram, DAC, what do we call that angle? We talked about it before, D to A to C, that's called A. Straight, Straight angle measures 180 measures 180. Remember that is also equal to ECA. All right. Well, what's ECA? Also well, it makes angle. sense, right? Because they're both straight angles. They should be equal. Can you guys mark angle one and two now congruent? Wait. So do we have to write hash marks for no, no, no. I would just leave it. Just leave it. Okay. Just leave it. Yeah. You don't really need to put arc marks on lines. What am I asking you to prove here? What's true? I'm asking you to prove what is true. Show why three is congruent to four, right? Three is congruent to four. All right, here's, now you're like, ooh, how do I, subtraction, addition? Well, I know it's a subtraction day, so it's gotta be, well, I don't want it to go that I don't want you to think that way. What'd you tell me DAC was, how many degrees? 180. 180, and you're going from DAC, 180 to angle three which I think we can all agree is clearly less than 180. Yes. So am I, from your givens to the proof, are we getting bigger or smaller in the angle? Smaller. Is the angle getting smaller or bigger? Smaller, smaller. there's your answer. There's only one way we get smaller. Is that, yes, we, get smaller. we have to get, we have to subtract. Thanks, Riley. Right, everyone agrees we gotta subtract? Okay, so we're good on why it's subtraction. Next question is the same as what I've been asking you. How many quantities do you need to subtract? Two. 
Two, how many did I provide in the given? Two. So guess what I'm doing in step two? Subtracting. I'm subtracting. Here we go. God, I'm so smart. I'm so proud of you. All right, just give me a pair of your subtracting. It's got to be, it can't be any pair. It's got to be a correct pair, so it gives me angle three, a correct pair that gives me angle four. Okay, so give me a pair of angles from the givens that you want to subtract that gets me either three or four. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Cameron, give me one pair. Angle. Um, angle D, A, C. Yep, minus. Minus angle one. Yep, stop right there. Good job. Equals, and then how about the other pair? How about the other pair I'm going to subtract, and those angles will be equal. Let's go here, Colin. How about the other pair? DAC, which is your straight angle. DAC. Yep, minus angle one because they're equal to each other, so I can subtract them. So ECA. Good. Keep rolling. Perfect. And make sure you set them equal to each other. And that is called. Subtraction. Whoa. Oh, Jude. Subtraction. Subtraction, yep. Again, watch yourself. Watch yourself. Get out, camera. I'm sorry, guys. No, I didn't mean that. I meant watch yourself, watch it, uh, writing subtraction. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Cameron, you're doing great. Cameron, <laughs> Cameron, right, Cameron, we love you. What's always after addition? Same thing here. You're just getting smaller. Same thing. <laughs> Do we have to write the measure of angle no, three? Just, just put, and okay. I don't care about that, Cameron. And you know what else I don't care about? I know that this question is going to come up sooner or later. I don't care equal versus congruent either. That doesn't. Okay. That stuff doesn't bother me. It's making sure you get there. I'm going to show you the quick. All right. I'll go with your first subtraction one. Yes, right. One doesn't make you great. Well, let's keep going. Let's Ooh, look at this one. Fancy now. A little like spinner rooney. A almost slanted hourglass. Oh, it's like someone broke it. It's like an hourglass that like felt a little sad. Why is that so funny? Uh, <laughs> you decide how you want to mark that given. DF congruent to BE. You decide how you want to mark it. All right, I do one of these bad boys here. D to F. And then B to E. I apologize on behalf of my classmates. I'm not I'm making sure we're ready here. Because again, I don't want that avalanche coming and it's too late. Here's my first question to somebody. You don't yell anything out, I'll call on somebody. Given was segment DF. And in the prove, I need to get to segment DE. Look at your diagram. Please don't yell anything out. Because here's my answer about what to do here. And am I, is the segment getting smaller or bigger as I go from DF in the givens to DE in the prove statement? Is that segment getting bigger or smaller? Because I'll have my answer here. Riley? Smaller. It is getting smaller. That should answer. That should answer which one we're doing now. It's definitely going to be subtraction. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. How many quantities do I need to subtract? Two, right? I can I call it out? Yep. How many did I provide? One. One, so I should not see subtraction in step two. Okay, I should not see subtraction in step two. I can't, you need two pairs of equal quantities, right? You only have one. So now here's where, again, don't yell it out. Look at your diagram. What must I take away from, say, don't yell it out. What must I take away from DF to get to DE? And what must I take away from BE to get to BF? Look at your diagram. What must I take away here? If I'm going to get smaller, what must I take away here? Okay. What am I taking away, uh, Colin? I, that's, why I called on you. that's why I just called on you. Yeah. Um, that's how it works. My, uh, DF minus EF oh, is equal to... No, we have to do something before that. Well, that's, remember, we can't write subtraction yet because you only have one pair, and I'm asking for that pair now. What do you yeah. subtract from each of them? 
EF. So that's what's going to go in statement two. EF is equal or congruent to, again, I don't care, EF equals EF. Uh, somebody else, what property am I using here, Miriam, to say EF equals EF? Oh, it's reflexive. Reflexive. Like I E V E, like reflexive. Like no. <laughs> -E -E. Now we have two pair, right? -E -E. Now we have two pair. Now, let me know what pairs you're subtracting. Okay, it's got to be a certain pair together. All right, what's my subtraction step look like now? Subtraction step. Let's go, Riley. We're back to you. Um, you got it. Let's stop there. Give your classmates. Put the line above it and then to not. That's another thing I'm not concerned with. Okay. <laughs> There's just little it's... things. It's like that would just make your life even worse than just the proofs themselves. So I just care what the steps are. And one more here. Uh, where are we going there? Cameron, over to you. I got DF minus EF. And what other two are going to have to subtract? Um, BE minus EF. There you go. Yeah, no, Be careful, be careful. Are we writing subtraction or substitution here? Yep, look at your own paper. Make sure we got subtraction there. And then you can always end it with the substitution. I love me a good substitution. Me too. Let's talk. I agree. Anything on subtraction because I'm taking a total left turn for this last one, this last fact of the day. Good, Colin. Everyone else all right? Okay, uh, before I introduce this next one, I have uh, some questions I need you to need your help with. All right, so here you go, kids. Uh, I'm going to have two line segments up here. Here's what I'm going to tell you about them. What am I telling you about them? They're Same length, they're congruent, right? Ready. Stay. I'm going to take those two line segments and I am going to cut them in half. What do you know about those halves that are remaining? Yeah. Probably, or they are? They are. Are they? Yes. Why? Because we said so. Go back to the beginning here. Because we cut them off the same amount. What were they originally? If we're subtracting half of them. Well, what was it originally? Congruent. They were congruent, and you took halves of two things that were congruent. So they have to be congruent as well. All right, this is called. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not ready to go in here. You guys are too good for this. I'm not going to tell you I'm taking half. There's going to be two, two vocabulary terms you're going to see that signals to you you are taking half. I don't need to tell you I'm taking half. There's two vocabulary words I could give you that we talked about in unit one. Let's say I'm taking half. Bisex. So if I see vocabulary term bisex and midpoint. midpoint. Okay, so if I start seeing those words in the givens, I know I'm taking half of something. Taking half, and this is your final one I'm going to give you today, and it's the last yellow piece over there. Halves of equal quantities are equal. Okay, halves of equal quantities are equal. So look what I wrote. I want you to take these three things here with me and write a true statement. Okay. Write a true statement. I don't need I don't need a diagram either. You don't need one. I'm telling you A, B, and D, C, they're equal. What am I taking half of in the first one? I'm taking half of A, B, and I'm going to call that segment A, F. And then I'm going to take half of D, C, and call it E, C. Give me a true statement based on those three and what we just talked about. And I'm going to go um, to... Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. And this keeps people focused in, too, and not... Uh, Doing other things, but hey. Boom, there we go. Jude, here we go. I know A, B, and D, C, I took half of them. A, F is equal to C. Those new halves congruent. are congruent. A, F, and E, C. Those two new halves are equal. And the reason? Reflexive? Or, sorry. Yep, it's all right. Remember, reflexive is something equal to his exact self. This is now going to be our new and final one today, which is halves of equal. And you can do your little you write, symbol. 
halves of equal quantities. I like this so much right there. <laughs> yeah. Are equal. We could write out the word equal, I guess, but I think we're okay. Can I write quant? No. <laughs> it's like not quant. that bad. Quant. quant. Hit the quant. <laughs> quant nailed me. That's what I thought of. Okay. Two yeah. different colors, right? <laughs> See how this works before we put it into, it into play. We're all good? All right, let's put it into play so we can end the notes here today. One doesn't make you great. Darn right. Remember <laughs> that. I might be just great all the time. Yeah. Oh, whoa, warning. Whoa. <gasps> Alert. I see a word. We see a vocabulary term up here? Bicep. What is it? Okay, now, hey, what that should tell me going forward, if I see biceps, this is how the proof will end. This should be the last reason. Now, I'm not saying this is two steps. I don't know how many steps it's going to be, but this will be the last reason because I see biceps. I also gave you a pair of congruent angles. Can you mark them on your diagram? Angle DCB and DAB. Can we do that? DCB and DAB. I'm still a little nervous if we can find angles or not. Arc mark? Yep, yeah, right. Arc marks, yep. Yeah. There should be no hash marks on here. We should have arc marks at certain angles. So I got DAB, which is this full angle, and then DCB, which is this full angle. We good how this is going to end, halves of equal quantities. Yeah, but yes. unfortunately, though, you need to tell me in step two, what are you taking half of? All right, you, you need to write down what you're taking half of. Well, Mr. Why didn't you, you didn't have us do that in the last one. You didn't, I didn't have to tell you what I was taking half of in the last one. Why didn't I ask for that? Because it's I already gave it to you. All right. So I already told you what I was taking half of, but now you have to tell me. So here we go. Second step. Give me one angle in this diagram you are taking. Look, half of. Give me one angle you are taking half of um, based off the givens and that word bisects. Give me one angle you're taking half of. There we go, Cameron. Um, angle DAB. Okay, angle DAB is being cut in half. So I'm going to say angle half of angle DAB. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> Equals. Now I know I have to know what you're going to call that half though, because remember back here I called the half AF and I called that half EC. I need to know what you're going to call it. So everyone look at your diagram. Look, no, 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 no. But we do have a couple choices and I want to make the correct choice. Look, everyone see angle DAB. If you cut that in half, I have two options. I could write it's equal to angle DAC or which other angle? Angle R, either one. All right. Or CAP. Which is R. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Okay, does everyone see? So right here I could write DAC or it's equal to angle R, but you don't get to pick which one you feel comfortable with. Look at the proof. There's only one out of those two I really am concerned about. Right? Angle. Which one are we concerned about? Angle. R. I'm just making sure we're all in angle. Which one? R. Angle. R. What do we got? Pirates in here? All right, moving on. I actually have a Moving on. I wait for that one every year. Wait for that one every year. <laughs> that was funny. Yep, yep. They go to Argentina for vacation. Yep. If you're hungry, they go to Arby's. Yep. Favorite movie? No. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Nobody ever gets this one. Anything rated. Oh. Oh. Let's go. All right. I actually have Sorry. a speech impediment that uh, means I can't say it. Next up. Is this true? Um, uh, uh, uh. Whoa, whoa, aren't we taking half of another angle? Yeah. All right, tell me now what that angle is. What other angle are we taking half of? Cameron, back to you. Um, We're taking half of? Uh, DCB. Yep, good. Angle DCB. So show me you're taking half of that angle. And now, just like the previous one, you have two options. What you want to call this, right? Everyone look at DCB. I could call that DCA 
on one side, or I could call it angle S on the other side. Look at the proof. Which one do I want? S. S, because it's in the proof statement. Ooh, now we come to the reason. Remember, you end the proof with halves of equal quantities. So what? Why'd you decide to take half of those angles? There had to have been something up here that said, you better take half. Five oh, five sec. Yeah, okay, five. I was going to call on somebody, but it's fine. Guys, definition. Guys, I'm bad. <laughs> definition. I like last week. Definition of bisects, right? And then you're ready to finish? What did we know about DAB and DCB? Again, just to refresh everyone's memory, DAB and DCB, congruent. congruent. I'm taking half of them, so whatever those halves are, which is R, congruent, and S, they got to be congruent to each other. And this is how it ends, ends. Halves of equal quantities are equal. Do not start doing halves unless you see bisector or midpoint. All right, you, you can't force this. You've got to be told you're taking half. If you don't see it, it's probably subtraction or addition. Doesn't Chris? midpoint not always have to be like the... I know it's the middle of like... like a line segment. Yeah. So we'll be dealing with line segments in the proof of that. Okay. You can take half a line segment by telling this is the midpoint. I don't like proofs. Okay. Me too. You don't? I mean, I, 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 I kind of like well, it. Well, they're, they're here so for the less. remainder of the year, unfortunately. So. No. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they don't like me. Oh, yeah, for the 